Thank you, everybody, um, for the nice welcome. Um, I want to I want to start out by saying that is my real hair uh, on those pictures. Um, Kelly and uh, Chris talked about the different decades, and uh, I'm definitely the one from the '70s. So I'm gonna gonna use uh, use my glasses. And um, Chris, just to let you know, I played with Tom McLaughlin, and he wouldn't have been a problem for you at all. <laughs> Um, it's, it's really nice being back here. Um, we drove over this morning from uh, Winona County. We live over in St. Charles, uh, my wife and my sons. And uh, it was a beautiful drive today. And, and actually what was nice is this is the first time um, that anyone in my family's been here. So uh, first time um, Julie's been to Marshall. She's kind of brought it up quite a few times uh, about, wasn't it kind of flat out there? And yeah, you know, the, I, that was actually the only negative thing I could say about Marshall was the wind. Um, some of our football practices, it, it was tough, tough to hear. So uh, I want to, uh, I guess, start by thanking um, Kelly and the uh, selection committee. Um, I hope my, my uh, selection was not like some of the recent Supreme Court uh, decisions, like five to four. Um, um, <laughs> but I... I have been, through my work, I have actually been involved with hosting something like this, and I know how much work it is. Um, there's just an incredible lot of work in the background that you, you, you're trying to keep everything to run smooth, and uh, um, so thank you, um, Kelly and the selection committee. Um, and then else, uh, I guess I wanted to note too at the beginning here is um, if any of you that uh, I haven't talked with um, that knew me from when I was here, um, you know, I don't recognize, uh, it's been 37 years I think, so I don't rec might not recognize you. So um, I have had some fun talking to, uh, to quite a few already, but if any anybody else uh, that knows me, uh, please stop and, and, uh, and say hello. Uh, I also want to thank my presenter, Kevin Oninson. Uh As Kelly said, he uh, was a teammate and a good friend. And uh, Kevin and Carla live in Minneota, and they're going to spend the day with us. I don't know, if Kevin, if you told Carla that or not. That <laughs> so, so thank you. Uh, and also, I want to uh, congratulate all the other inductees. Um, I just want you to know it's an honor for me to be included in with you. So thank you. Uh, when preparing for what I was going to say today, um, my mind just kept reverting back to how many people that helped me. Um, I was out here all by myself. Um, I'll give you a little background uh, of, of where I'm from and, and uh, maybe you'll understand, but I just kept thinking there's just so many people I want to want to thank. Well, I went through and I listed everybody and then I practiced the presentation and it was close to an hour, and I said, I'm not gonna do that. So um, you're gonna get my condensed version, but um, please know that when I list someone's name, um, they, they had an impact. Uh, if I don't say anything about them, they had a, they had a large impact um, on me. So, um, but I wanna start uh, by thanking my family, my, my birth family. George Burns, uh, a lot of you remember the actor comedian. I'm going to put my glasses on for this. Here's what he said about family. Happiness is having a large, loving, caring, close-knit family in another city. <laughs> okay, I was one of 15 children. Definitely large. Loving, caring, close-knit most of the time. So I grew up in southeast Minnesota on a dairy farm uh, by Altura, Minnesota. Graduated from Lewiston High School. And uh, if you want to know what our family picture looked like, the 2001 girls basketball team, uh, it's, it's about that same size. So <laughs> as you can imagine, there was not a lot of money, but um, there was always someone there for me. Believe me, there was always someone there for me. Um, but I had a, I had a busy, happy uh, childhood, and I want to thank my parents and my siblings um, for all that they did for me. 
I want to, going back here real quick, but I want to thank my high school coaches, Jack Rader, Rich Lorenz, and Gary Mills. Um, I appreciate all that they did, did for me. I had kind of a slow start, but a strong finish. So thank you guys. And I'm going to address my three head coaches that I had at Southwest State and my teammates just a bit later, but um, so I'm going to list off all the people that, like I said, had an impact on me. And this should go pretty quick. John Weefall was the president of the college, um, very involved with the sports program. Mike and Karen Sterner family. Um, I heard Mike's uh, golf game is in trouble all the way in Winona. Um, but I, I think I'm gonna tell Mike that uh, he's not here today, but Mike, if you haven't found your game yet, you might wanna stop looking, so. <laughs> Tom Richardson was a teammate, a receivers coach, and a strength coach, and he taught me a lot. Mike, Mike Friedel, uh, I was gonna mention that some of these people are no longer living, but I, I still feel that they may be able to hear me. Mike Friedel was a defensive coordinator, gave the most inspirational pregame speech I ever heard. J.D. Hill, assistant football. Maury Anderson, uh, assistant football. Greg Lanners, assistant football. Bruce Leahy, assistant baseball. R.A. Colvin, Dave Supernot, Glenn Karen, Jeff Moberg, trainers. And there may be, have been others, I just, uh, it's been 37 years, I don't remember them all. The college professors, I loved most of them. <laughs> Chuck Johnson was with, uh, I believe I have that right, Chuck Johnson was with financial aid. Does, can anybody yeah. verify that? Very nice man and um, I equate Chuck's office with voting on election. I was there early and often. <laughs> Denny McChesney uh, ran the equipment room and also the maintenance crew. I, I did a lot of work for, uh, work study work for those and had a really a lot of fun with those. Jeff Mordorse and Clint Isaacson were sports information directors. This one may seem odd to, to bring this up, but food service at Southwest State I thought was was excellent. Um, so uh, maybe because the lines were shorter there sometimes than they were at home. So uh, Mar the Marshall Independent, um, Marv Clemens and Bob Bond, um, they gave us good coverage. And Bob, Bob, um, I had no family out here, so I didn't have much, many pictures in that. And uh, when I was a senior, I called Bob, and he took an couple hours out of his time and we made a mess out of his office. Got me some scrap, uh, scrap pictures, so thank you, Bob. KML, KMHL gave us good coverage. Um, and I, I got a quick note here regarding Schwann's ice cream. As I mentioned, I grew up on a dairy farm and since graduating from SSU, I've worked for the Department of Ag for 30 years. And I've had the pleasure of working in the Schwann's plant a few times as recently as last summer. And uh, I just wanna thank Tucker Corcoran, I, I don't know if Tucker's still there, but I assume he is, um, and, and all of his staff for the, for the uh, professional treatment that I've received um, while, while I've been at Schwann's, or the, the number of times I've been at Schwann's. And uh, for me, I think of Marshall and Schwann's as synonymous, and I think you all have a lot to be proud of. Okay, I'm, uh, so to, to start off with, uh, my first coach, head coach here was Lou Shaver, and thankfully Lou is here today. Um, most football coaches by nature, at least some of the times, can be quite serious and intense. Coach Shaver could definitely be all of those. But just to show you that it wasn't always the case, I've, I've got something that uh, is kind of a quick story and um, that it, it wasn't always the case of uh, intensity and, and, uh, and seriousness. Couple of things to keep in mind here, I wanna set the story. Uh, we did win this game, it was Coach Shaver's first win against M Michigan Tech, who had uh, absolutely destroyed Southwest State the previous year. I was a freshman, it was my first start. Um, so I, uh, uh, we did win the game, which is the most important thing. And the other thing is, I did get hurt on this play. So um, just keep that in mind. So I was also on, uh, my first year I played defensive back and uh, I was also on some of the special teams. And uh, I was on the punt team. We punted to Michigan Tech, their return man, brought the ball back. John Senden, um, some of you people remember John, he was a Marshall native. We hit, we hit, the, uh, we hit the return man, made the tackle, 
and it was uh, kind of fun to watch on the on the films. The guy went twisting and turning, and then he then he fell over. So, uh, and unfortunately, like I said, I was hurt and carried off the field and did not come back that day. So the next day, when we're watching films, we get to that hit. Coach Shaver yells out, "Nice hit! Who who was that?" I raise my hand. Sendon raises his hand. So back and forth we started. John's taking credit, I'm taking credit, John's taking credit, I'm taking credit. And so I'm thinking, uh, I, I finally said to John, in a little bit of a cocky uh, a tone of voice, I said, well, if you made the tackle, why did I get hurt? And he said, without skipping a beat, without skipping a breath, he said, because you're a wimp. And, <laughs> and I, the, the whole, the whole uh, football team, it erupted with laughter, the room, uh, including me, and I just shook my head, and, and we went back to watching films. I wasn't going to, so we did, I just wanted to let you know, we did have uh, some fun once in a while. Coach Shaver, from the very start of my career at SSU, had nice things to say about me for some reason. You had some nice things to say about me in the newspaper. You had nice things to say about me on the radio. And I can't thank you enough for getting things off uh, to a nice start for me. So thank you very much, Lou Shaver. And coach, after 30 years, and since I have the microphone, I made that tackle. <laughs> My baseball coach was Jim Denovan. And um, I was talking to Chris that I watched, uh, Jim was inducted into the Hall of Fame in 2013, I believe. And the one thing I noticed is uh, that Jim's sense of humor hasn't changed or gotten any better. But, um, Coach Denovan always called me Joey and once in in introduced me at an awards banquet as a softball player who wanted to play baseball. <laughs> Another time he described me as, Joe, you're one of the best bad ball hitters I've ever seen, which means my strike zone was a little bit larger than everybody else's. Coach D, as I'm telling this story today, I'm still not sure if either one of those were compliments. I was very raw at baseball when I started and actually didn't play a lot the first year, but Coach Denovan kept encouraging me, gave me several things to work on, and I had a, an, a very enjoyable career. A uh, little side note, uh, Coach Denovan's son Tommy, he was about 12 at the time, I think he's about this tall now, um, but he used to ride along on some of the bus trips and he sat back with all of us players and so if Tommy if you're listening I hope you, you you're doing okay. <laughs> coach D you were a very affable approachable coach and I want I want to thank you for your patience with me and I want you to know that I absolutely love playing baseball for you. Coach Be Gary Buer um, when Coach Shaver decided to take a position in Illinois, Coach Buer was hired as his replacement. Rumors were that this new coach would run the run and shoot. The run and shoot offense can be a wide open, fast paced offense where there is usually as much passing as there is running, uh, if not more. And uh, being a receiver now uh, at this time, I thought this was good news, but um, I can tell you, I had no idea of the impact it, that it would have on me. Coach Buer, if you're listening, I, I know I wouldn't be here today if not for you. So thank you for dreaming big and letting me and my teammates be a part of your dream. Just a note on the t my teammates. I, I had a lot to say on my teammates, but um, I couldn't get through it. Now, now I'm doing it again. <clears throat> but a special thank you to all of my teammates. Um, physically, it's my name on this plaque, but spiritually, all of you are on there uh, with me as well. I just want you to know that it was an incredible honor, honor for me to be your teammate. And that, that brings me to my most important thank you. After my playing days were done at Southwest State, um, they handed out the football jersey um, that you could keep and um, still have it in my closet. And when I talked with my wife about how I should dress for today, I suggested that I wear my jersey. 
Her response was, are you serious? I said, well, I will wear my sport coat over it. Then she gave a look that seemed to say, are you sure you graduated from college? I don't know, I just, I just thought you all might like it. But Anyway, as you can see, it didn't work. Um, but I want to say a special thank you to my wife, Julie, and my sons, Ben and Mark, uh, especially for giving up their weekends to be here with me, me today. Um, you've made this special day even more special, so thank you very much. And so as the saying goes, happiness is having a large, loving, caring, close-knit family in another city. And for four magical years of my life, Southwest State University in Marshall, Minnesota was my family. Thank you all so much.